So I'm watching the Adrenaline Barbecue Company's video on smoked chuck roast. Now I want me some. Only problem is I don't have a cattle or slow and sear. But I do have a pit barrel cooker. That's this time on. happens so often when I only have a short period of window to, to shoot on. The batteries on my uh, my second camera, this one, they're dead. So I have to go and recharge those so it's going to be a one camera shoot right now. These are a couple of uh, old rubs I have. This one appears to be just um, pepper and, and you know regular things except no salt. I've already already pre-brined or dry brined this you can see the bits of salt on there. But this is all the good stuff and then this is sugar and brown sugar mostly. So uh, I want a little I want a nice crust on it so I'm going to put some of this on there as well. Didn't put any binders on it. should have since it's going to be hanging, but I like living dangerously. I actually kind of figured that the uh, salt would have pulled out enough moisture to make give it something to hang on to. It's been sitting there pre-salted for a couple hours. Well, I'll do the other side and I'm going to put on the hooks. This is actually going to be my third cook on the pit barrel cooker. I actually tried to record the first one, but it came out so badly that I just couldn't put it up. Ran out of charcoal way too early. Then I saw somebody on one of the forums I'm on do this. Three layers high, two layers thick. The hole in the middle to pour the lit coals into. I'm hoping this will give me the best chance at burning more than three hours. Starter cube is lit. Coals. Coals are getting on fire. A couple pieces of cherry wood in there. It's waiting for the coals. That's 40 pieces of coal. According to the gurus over at AmazingRibs.com who have actually done successful cooks and are much better than me, that's the perfect amount of charcoal to start with. Hadn't even been 10 minutes yet and looks like the coals have come along great. Shouldn't be long now. Yes, I've said I've done a couple of cooks. All my hooks went missing. Along with a couple, three other things. So I don't know, somebody might have got in the backyard and stole them. My little torch for starting fires, the poker for the pit barrel, and the hooks all went missing. Very strange. This is what hangs. This is what hangs on the, the barrel. I'll pierce it through the, the fatter, the five, the thicker end. I want to stick it through the thicker end, which appears to be this end on this one. This one I'm thinking I'm going to double it. Double it up just in case it starts to go. Okay, then we'll hang the meat. One of the things I think I've been doing too long is, is letting this cook to where it's completely white, ashed over everywhere. Every one of them's got ash on the corners and, and at least one side. So I'm gonna call it ready. 
I'm going to put it in the barrel. Okay, let's see how close I get to the rib, to the bullseye. Not going to be very close. Yep. Majority of them missed. Now we'll let it run like that for 10 minutes. Then we'll put the cover on without the rebar for 10 minutes. And then we'll put the rebar in and finally be able to hang the meat. Time to hang. in a couple hours went up to about 350 then came down and kind of hovered at 333 supposedly it'll go down and settle in around 275 to 250 I'm hoping because as tends to happen especially on the days I do cooks a situation has come up that I cannot ignore so I have to leave for an hour maybe even two so I'm hoping that uh, it's not too bad because uh, the meat's gone from 95 to 105 in the last couple of minutes. So uh, I'm going to take it at 165, 170 and wrap it and put it on the grill part and let it finish that way. Here they are at the 145 internal temperature mark. Well, at least this one's at 145. Like I said I'm going to take them off at 165 and wrap them. Take them all the way to at least 195, maybe even 205. Oops, getting the flare up. <laughs> Better put the top back on. Here's the second one ready to be wrapped. Are you wrapped the first one? It's going to be done before the other one. There they go. Don't forget, you have to have the rebarbs in. The rebarbs. To get the correct airflow. Checking for probe tender at 195. Well, I just tested them. Might be able to see the holes in the aluminum. The small one's about 204, and the big one's about 202. But they're both, I, I was afraid I actually punched through through the bottom before I felt any resistance. So, uh, 
Okay, ready to go. Dang, I wish these things were a little bit bigger. Still got a lot of heat down there. Well, made it past the three and a half hour mark, so that stacking of the charcoal seemed to work really well. So I might be on to something now. I'm gonna go in the cooler for a couple hours and then we'll see if they're pullable. It's been two hours in the Bo Cabrio or cooler. Still very, very hot. Probably use the other yeah, one for that, but it's at about 140 internal after the two hour rest. Very nice and moist. as easy as I hoped but it might be a little overcooked. Hmm, it's very good. <laughs> very very good. Wow. Nice little smoke ring there. The sir and I didn't put any wood. I did put a little bit of wood. Very ginger. Other than the connective tissue, pull the right part. Very proud. Very happy with this. Thank you, DW Callus, for uh, donating the pit barrel. It's my first successful cook. I did some chicken in it. The, the chicken was alright but the skin didn't come out crispy. Uh, there was a rib cook in there that we're not going to talk about. But this it is very good. Still have a lot to learn. A lot to nest, to learn. But I'm very happy with this today. Thank you. Once I finish choosing, finish choosing, choosing. Once I finish chewing, I'm gonna say that's it for this edition of the Gadget Grill. Oh, mine, 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 oh mine.